situation is desperate, so I won't waste any time. Five days ago, we received approval from Mars. The plan is codenamed Mission R. I'll lay it out in simple terms for you. We'll demolish the MME Citadel under a rain of nuclear missiles. Here. Nuclear missiles? Wait a minute. I thought there weren't any left. We have no idea. Right. 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 Where are they? And why Be weren't we told? Be quiet. Let us explain what's happened. Commander Dominoff and I were equally surprised to hear this new information. We had no idea these missiles still existed. Well, until now. Commander Nelson. The rest should be obvious to all of you. The front has always been here on Earth, not on Mars. We've retreated ever since the MME launched their first strike. They hit us with nuclear and more powerful SVE warheads. And in one shot, they eliminated most of humanity's military. But we've now learned of 30 secret missile silos. It's obvious, in retrospect. Once the MME was stopped, the East-West War would resume. Each silo is hidden under an ordinary base. That's enough. Whatever the missiles were intended for, there is no question as to where our duty is. Each silo must be returned to full operational status. We need to lay secure comm lines between the silos and HQ. We'll prepare a mission board, here at the main base. We have to coordinate the launches from here. Mars will resupply our ordnance through unmanned drop capsules. Every team is responsible for recovering as much as they can. Once we secured the silos, we'll move on to phase two. We'll have to gather all civilians and move them to safety. You'll evacuate to this underground shelter. What? It's much too close to ground zero. That's not right. We can't do this. It's too dangerous. Can you guarantee our safety? This is too dangerous. He said our situation was desperate. Understand, we don't have time for arguments. It's time to move. No time for arguments? Move to our deaths? If any of you want out, you can leave now. The only thing you should care about is the successful completion of this mission.
13, 14, 15. What are you counting? Monza? Ew! Get that away from me! Okay. 16, 17, 18. They're not gumballs. Count them all you want, but they won't fall. <gasps> that did? A shooting star. How sweet. I used to watch them all the time. I used to wish on them, too. Wished? My father told me to wish. Three times on a shooting star. If I finished before it went out, my wish would come true for sure. So I wished. <laughs> what a bunch of bull. You're right. That's all it was. My wishes never came true. Sandy? I know. This isn't helping the situation. Those are not shooting stars. There's way too many of them. East by southeast. 16 clicks. Ah! Capsules! From Mars? Looks like it. Two more just landed. They're here. There's no time to lose. Come on, let's go! To periscope depth. Bring us to periscope depth. Surface. Blow the ballast tanks. Surface. Stop engines. Stop engines. Send the retrieval team. Aye, aye, sir. Hurry. We have to get this work done as fast as possible. Move out! Units one and two, keep watch! Units three and four, start unloading now! Sir, it looks like the retrieval teams have started. Good. <laughs> Wait a minute! I've got a blip on the radar screen! Retrieval! Take cover, you've got incoming! It looks like a new model. New model? Humans, cease your resistance. Huh? It can talk? Surrender to us, humans. It is time for all to submit to General Gorg.
Move up closer. Reverse full speed. No. Let go of me! What's wrong with Sandy? I wouldn't worry about it too much. She's probably just really tired. I think it's more than that. We will arrive at the silo before dawn. Provided that no one else tries to stop us. I won't let anything stop us. Sir, there's an enemy patrol craft coming up from behind us. Full speed ahead. Are you okay, Sandy?
You're all awake. Oh, good. It's not much, but please help yourself. All right. <laughs> Wait a minute. Did you bring us here? Wasn't there a young girl with you? Where'd she go? <laughs> Don't worry about her. She's always off poking around. You really had an appetite? You must have been hungry. So who are you? We belong to a group that we call the Geochris. Geochris? I think I understand why you've come here. Thank goodness we reached you. What do you mean? What's this? Hell. Sally? Y you did this, didn't you? Didn't you? Yes, we did. I'm very sorry, but the Geochris cannot allow further harm to the environment. You are all killing the Earth. You're wrong! The reason we're doing this is to save mankind! But if humanity must destroy the Earth in order to live, then your struggle is meaningless. Isn't it, then? Is that why you buried this? This is pointless. There are other silos. You know that. We'll have to dig it out ourselves. Dig it out? We don't have a bulldozer. Any other bright ideas? <laughs> Uh, you're not serious. <gasps> what are you doing? I'm sorry. We can't let you fire that missile. You haven't been fighting and dying out there, so just shut up! Get out of my way! Uh, 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 uh. Huh? Uh. <laughs> Seeds? Yes, they're seeds from the Tree of Revival. The Tree of Revival? The Tree of Revival. Legend says that when all life on Earth has been destroyed, the tree will flourish and restore life to our world. In its shade, the flowers shall bloom again. We Geochris have brought pure soil into this shelter. We've devoted our lives to nurturing the Tree of Revival. And one day, when peace is finally restored to Earth, we'll travel across the world planting seeds wherever we go. The tree will become a living symbol of Earth's revival. our friends and family butchered in this war. We won't give up because of some idiotic fantasy. 
We've come so far. You don't know how much we've sacrificed to reach this base. Sandy. I'm warning you. This is the last time. Get out of my way! <sighs> Score! Drag them out of the way! Well, I don't think we have to go that far. Relax, Sandy. There's nothing we can do about it. And we have absolutely no intentions of hurting these people. Bauer? You too? But these people are traitors! No. They saved our lives. I agree. Besides, I won't attack unarmed civilians. Everybody knows it's not my style. Wait a minute. Remember, you're supposed to be soldiers. Suit yourselves. I'll finish this. I'll finish this mission by myself. Just stay out of my way. Now get up, Sally. Uh. Contact established with Missile Base 28. Connection completed to Surface Base 7. Northern Base 43 is now online. Commander, we now have a report from the east. Moscow, East Berlin, and 14 other bases are now all online. Sir. The only one left is the old Base 3. It's Bauer's team. Just a bunch of leftover army scrap. It doesn't matter how old it is, as long as it hits the target, right? Leftover army scrap. Just like me. Huh? Come in, score! Yeah, everything's fine here, Sandy. It all checks out. Release safeties on one, two, and three. One, two, and three, released! Power up the silo launch doors. Silo launch doors, on! Open up all the fueling valves. Fueling valves, open! Activate the comm lines to HQ now. Communications online. How's it look, Sandy? Okay, the link is active. Launch control to remote. Remote launching, on! Right, start the countdown and slave in every base right away. Yes, sir! Better hurry up, Sandy. Only ten hours to launch. We barely have time to evacuate. There's no time to waste. Hurry! What will you do now? We're staying here. It's our job to protect the tree. What?! Are you insane? Don't you know we're only 20 kilometers from ground zero? I know. No, you don't! It's only 20 kilometers! A shelter won't save you! You're all going to die! Yes, I know. Fine. Go ahead. Do whatever you want. Wait! After we're dead, Please plant this, Sandy. Plant it with your own hands. A nuclear attack? Analysis confirms it. Those pathetic humans plan to attack with obsolete missiles. Interesting. It is a surprising strategy. Their efforts are futile. It was only logical. 
The humans are incapable of understanding our true nature. Their missiles are of no concern. But we cannot allow ourselves to be caught off guard. The Tree of Revival. When all life on Earth has been destroyed, the tree will flourish and restore life to our world. In its shade, the flowers shall bloom again. It's important that you understand this, Sandy. Here, Sandy. Plant this with your own hands. Then you can water it and grow it. <laughs> I know Sandy will understand. Take another route. Roger. They're trying to bury us alive. I won't let them. Return fire! Let them get as close as possible. Got it. Sandy! Uh, that? It's him! Blast him! What are you trying to do with him? Make him talk. Make him talk? Connect power. First off, I want to know who you are. How is it that you can speak to us? I know that you can understand me. <laughs> huh? How about that? He's laughing! <laughs> What's so funny? You could never understand. You pathetic biological organisms. What the hell? Even if you destroy the tower, Gorn will not be damaged. Radioactivity does not harm us. What? That can't be. Playing right into their hands. Commander, come in! Commander Nelson, please respond! Wait a minute. I can't get through to him. It's the Derringer effect. No, it's not. It's just them. They're jamming up all our transmissions. <laughs> Here they come! You know if we stay here, we're dead meat.
leave that to me. Don't worry, they'll stop the launch once they see this. It'll be fine. Just leave it to me! Revival. How? How did you grow a tree this big underground? We have light gathering mirror assemblies on the surface. Optical fibers carry the light down to this chamber. The water and air are both purified through filters. This is probably the purest air and water in the world. And it's all for the sake of this tree. I think I've lost sight as to what I'm protecting. Sally, you better hurry up. They'll be here soon. We'll entrench ourselves here and make a barricade. Tell me, will you help us? We'll do what we can to protect the tree. Commander, we have contact with all missile bases. Shall we commence the final countdown? What's wrong, sir? The countdown? If we don't begin soon... That's very strange. They must have figured out our plan by now. Why aren't they attacking any of our missile bases? Commander, sir, we're running out of time. Set detonation altitude for 500 meters above the base. Estimated time of impact, 60 minutes from now.
restoring the Earth. I can't forgive them. They'll pay for this. Sally! <laughs> Let me go! You can replant the tree. You still have the seeds. But you have to save yourself before you can save the Earth. Don't you understand? Sandy, you're crying. I need ammo! We'll just have to make every shot count. What? Wait, where did you find this? Over there. There's lots more of them. More? All systems green. 32 minutes to launch. Systems are still green. We have 21 minutes until launch. Out of my way! I have to see the commander. Come on! It's the surface! We only have 10 minutes to launch. We'd better move everybody out. Commander! Signal all bases. Abort the launch. Stop all the missiles. Codes, all missiles have aborted launch. No! The countdown is still proceeding at Silo 4! We must remember. Our world was once in ashes. Are we about to repeat that catastrophe? Thanks for your help, Fortin. It was no problem. All in a day's work. This happened to be on our way home anyway.
slipping back to your old army habits, Fortin. Prepare to withdraw! We'll meet again, Sandy. We'll replant our tree here on the surface of the earth. Sandy, I need to know, will you plant your seed too? Sandy, hold on. I promise you, I'll bring back help. 